Today is a super important day for all stocks. So if you hold any stocks, you gotta watch this video because the CPI data comes out literally in less than an hour. And I'm gonna tell you what I think might happen today. Of course, none of this is financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. You always have to do your own research at the end of the day, but welcome back to the channel. I would always appreciate a like on the video. If we can get this over 250 likes, that would be absolutely amazing this morning. I hope you guys are enjoying your morning. It is 4.41 a.m. over here, so super early. Don't forget to grab your coffee. Here's mine. In this video, we're gonna be talking about Mullen stock and is the CPI data going to affect Mullen stock? So I gotta show you this right now. So there's confidence in mounting that the latest reading of the US Consumer Price Index due Tuesday, which is today, will show pressures have cooled enough to allow Federal Reserve policymakers to put their tightening campaign on pause. That is huge, okay? They haven't paused, as you can see, for over 10 times. They have done a rate hike, okay? So are they going to pause? That's the big question. If the news is great today, I would expect stocks to go up. If it is bad, I would expect stocks to come down. It's very simple, right? So the question is, are they gonna pause? Or are they gonna rate hike? Another thing is they might do a hike next month in July. So that is also on the table right now. But what do you guys think? Do you think they should pause because it has been absolutely crazy out there this last couple years? Or do you think that they are going to do another rate hike uh, this month? Now talking about Mullen, we can see here about 38 minutes ago, this update, so you guys can actually check this out if you want, you just do a Mullen short interest and it's the first one, Fintel, and it tells you how many shares are available. You can see 38 minutes ago, half a million shares became available to short Mullen stock. So this is never good. I remember on certain days when this said zero, stock went up, right? But right now with shares being available, it's gonna be interesting to see if even more shares get available before market opens. This doesn't look pretty for Mullen stock right now. If you're subscribed to my channel, then you probably watch my videos every day. And yesterday I said it doesn't look too good and I could see us go to the 30s, probably the high 30 range. Now we hit 38 yesterday. Pre-market right now, we are green, even though 38, 48 is nothing. We need 200% moves. And I'm gonna show you what needs to happen uh, for this stock to get out of the hole that we're in right now. I will say it all comes down to honestly like today or tomorrow because on the four hour, I've been talking about this a lot, the RSI has hit this green line. We are very, very oversold and I'm not sure if Mullen even goes by technicals anymore because of the dilution that has been happening, but supposedly dilution might have been over yesterday. So we will see how today plays out, especially with the CPI data, it's very gonna be very interesting, but you could see the SMAs right here. What we need is an explosive move. If Mullen's going to move higher, we need an explosive move out of this wedge pattern. And you can see that the 50, S, 50 day SMA is right now at 93 cents. The 100 day SMA is at $1.60. And then you cannot see it, but the 200, SMA is at $3.92. So again, we need to get this over a dollar because this is absolutely crazy. You could just see the downtrend has been all red days, maybe a couple green days, but pretty much all red days. And this is just not okay anymore, but we'll see if Mullen cares about the stock price and if they drop the right news at the right time. And people start to believe that Mullen will be a success and Mullen will go into production and you know, this is gonna be one of the, the top EV players, as David would say, the number two next to Tesla. Besides that though, there's no new news for Mullen. Yesterday I made a video about them partnering with Fenix, which is I think a step in the right direction as they build a company. But again, the stock price is just depressing at this point. So I am not recommending to buy, sell, or hold this stock like I have been saying. I have not bought any more recently, and I don't plan to to be honest with you all. So I'm waiting for us to get out of this hole that we're in. And then maybe if we stabilize over a dollar, then I would probably look to get back in possibly. I'm not looking to swing trade this anymore. I'm not going to risk any more capital on this stock right now. They need to get out of this hole and they need to prove themselves a little more to me at this point. I always appreciate you all for watching and don't forget to drop a like if you got any value. Of course, if you wanna support the channel, you can press join, you can join the boss or the elite group, or you can join the Patreon and that's always a good time. We have a private Discord where we all talk about different stocks and how crazy of a ride this has been. We'll see you in there. Have a good one. See you on the next one.